yarn and yarn creations and just a lot of yarn. <laughs> All of this yarn in here got mailed here to California because when I moved I had to pack everything up. And so all of this yarn just stayed in this box because I didn't have room for it in my room. And it was in the house for a while, but then it got moved out here to the garage. So what I need to do with this box is take out all of these beanies that I made before I moved. Too bad I couldn't use this chunky yarn on my knitting machine because that would have been really cool to make some beanies out of. So I'll just have to stick to crocheting with these chunky yarns. But um, yeah, so I need to take these and there's a lot more buried down here. But now I'm contemplating if I should just take it all out in here or drag it inside and then drag it back. I finally finished adding all of the watermarks to this never-ending list of beanie pictures. Now I am going to start making listings for Etsy. I think I'm just going to do everything on my phone because I have all the pictures on my phone and I don't really want to airdrop them to my iPad or upload them to my computer even though it would probably be easier to make listings on my computer because it would be faster to type on the keyboard. But just the whole process of transferring pictures, it just takes a really long time, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> but my fingers also hurt from touching my phone screen. It actually feels really weird. The tip of my finger feels really weird. But anyways, I have a whole list of beanies. There are about 31 here that I wrote down that I weighed and took pictures of yesterday. But I don't want to make 31 listings because that's a lot of listings. Um, so I think I'm gonna try to get it down to about 15 and I have like a section up here that I like titled August 22 collection because those are all of the beanies I made in August or 822 collection. I think I'll just make all of those that are in the 822 collection in one listing um, because each beanie is just one and that's it. Um, some of them are two made out of the same yarn, same color, but I don't have very many of those because all of these beanies were made from leftover yarn, from yarn that I've had in my possession for a while and never figured out what I wanted to do with, or it was just a pile of yarn that I've had left over from a project and it was still sitting there and I needed to move, so I started making everything into beanies. <laughs> just a quick little explanation of how these beanies came to be. Because of that, because they're all leftover yarn beanies, um, there's only one of each. And not all of them are varying in size. Like I have a couple that are like baby size or toddler size, um, and not very many that are large like this one. Like this one is too big for my head and it stretches really well, but I really like this one and I don't wanna sell it. Now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna crank this out. I gotta get it done. I already put on Instagram that all of these beanies are going live by 10 a.m. tomorrow. It is currently 5.41. So hopefully I get this all done in like two hours, really hoping, or at least I finish it all before I get hungry for dinner. So, oh, and I also have to measure the circumference of all of the beanies because I, I wrote down what the sizes of each one were, but that was just my own guesstimate. 
and I really want to measure everything so that way there's an actual measurement for people to see so it doesn't leave anything to what ifs. Um, so yeah, just kind of eliminate that question that they would potentially ask me. Um, it also makes it easier for people to buy because then they'll know that it will probably fit their head or their kid's head or whoever they're buying it for. Plus a lot of these stretch so I also need to account for that. I don't know how exactly I'm going to figure that out but I do know that usually when things stretch a little more you can kind of get away with saying it's this size but also that size. So like a medium large. So now I'm just going to go crank this all out, going to do it on my phone and measure the circumferences of all the beanies. I just need to figure out where I put my measuring tape. My chair made it over there and found my measuring tape. time figuring out how many beanies I want in one listing because I can only have a certain amount of pictures and I can't do one photo of each because there's 10 beanies and that's too many plus I also want to have ones where they're in groups like this one so and that red one to show like the different colors so now I have to figure out how to make a smaller collection within a larger collection basically how am i gonna ha like how many beanies am i gonna have in one listing how am i gonna split this up there are so many beanies and i just have so many cool pictures and i want to have them all especially like the detail pictures and i don't want to make one listing for every group of beanie i just realized something too i I need to go into Canva before I can make listings so that way I can add titles to the first picture that someone will see for the listing. Um, but I guess that'll help because I was already struggling on how to group them. It's gonna be 3 a.m. <laughs> it's 2.49 right now and I just finished editing everything on Canva. It took a really long time. Now I can finally work on my laptop and go in and edit some.